Is your vacuum cleaner too heavy, bulky, and hard to push around and under the furniture? Does it sound like a jet engine when you turn it on? When you vacuum, do you get that smell? Do you see dust all over the furniture after you're done vacuuming? Well, if you look like this when you vacuum, <laughs> then your cleaning game needs a boost. This is the brand new Mila Boost CX-1 vacuum cleaner. And if your current vacuum cleaner sucks but not the way it should, or if you need a couple of shots just to get yourself motivated to vacuum, then you wanna watch this video and learn all about this model. Now before I get into all the nitty gritty and the features and specs, let's first find out who this vacuum cleaner is meant for. The CX-1 Boost the graphite gray model is the standard version. That means it comes with one attachment, which is a combination floor tool. So if you're looking for a compact, lightweight, bagless vacuum cleaner, and you have mostly bare floors, parquet, ceramic, hardwood, laminate, and whatnot, and a few scattered rugs, as long as they're low pile or thin, then this could be the perfect model for you. Now we've been selling and servicing vacuum cleaners for over 20 years and so we hear a lot about uh, you know, people's complaints about their vacuum cleaners and why they're possibly considering to change um, or get a Mila vacuum instead. Uh, one of the things we hear all the time though is how the vacuum cleaner is so heavy and bulky and hard to push around. The Mila Boost, however, is Mila's most compact vacuum cleaner. It only weighs 13 pounds, so it's lightweight and compact. As far as pushing around or lugging the vacuum around, this vacuum has a special feature called the track drive, and that is a combination of the two large wheels and the two casters, all non-marking casters and wheels, by the way. What that does, it allows the vacuum to follow you very nice and easy in a straight line, but also be extremely nimble and allows the machine to turn on a dime, which helps a lot, especially in cramped spaces, uh, over thresholds or cords. It's just very nice and easy to use. The other thing you will notice is when you lift the vacuum up, it feels very balanced. It doesn't tilt one way or another, uh, bothering the wrist. Another feature is how the hose, uh, well, the connection of the hose is situated at the lower end of the machine means that it allows you to work with the machine and push it uh, or pull it along without the machine tipping over, which is a great feature. Another really nice thing about this vacuum is a crush-proof king-free hose, which is actually very lightweight, just like any other Mila canister hose. Very nice and easy to work with. And the stainless steel telescopic wand which is great for a couple of reasons, where it allows you to reach hard to reach areas, um, including room ceilings and corners and whatnot. But also at the same time, you don't have to bend over while vacuuming so you don't have to hurt your back. This is very tall. Now, uh, that's a very nice feature to have. Another really nice feature with the CX-1 Boost is a very long cord. As a matter of fact, it has a 21 foot cord, which gives you a reach of 33 feet from the wall down to the floor, to the floor attachment. Now that's very long. As a matter of fact, you could probably vacuum your neighbor's living room if you wanted to. If you recall at the, at the beginning of the video, we said the CX-1 Boost Graphite Gray is really meant for people who have a lot of bare floors and if they have rugs scattered or area rugs they are low pile so let's test the cx1 on the on a low pile uh, let's see how it works um pink sand if we have any yes we've managed to get pink sand it's good good color contrast and some of that dirt let's see let's see that good job okay now there's a couple of tricks I want to show you. And I want to see how many passes I'm going to do. Now, before I do this, 
I'll show you the tricks that you need to learn, okay? The combination floor tool that comes with the CX-1 has two settings. One for rugs, when this is pushed forwards, it's actually a rug setting right here. And one for bare floors, when you push backwards, the bristles come out, you use it on bare floors. On the rug, obviously we're gonna be on the right setting. Here's another trick. The same sign you see here is on the machine, right there. That means that's the suction setting that you need to go and no more than that to use this on rugs. And there we go. I'll tell you why they've done that. Let's see how many passes we need first to get all that off. It's too easy. It is really, really easy. It was just one pass. Now here's the thing. If you increase the suction all the way to the max, all you're doing is makes it a little more difficult to push this back and forth. And that's it, okay? So, use the right suction setting here, there, and the right attachment setting here. All this is good, but how does it do on bare floors? I'd like to point out now that parking spot, which I think is ingenious. You see, if your vacuum doesn't have a parking spot like that, every time you pause vacuuming for any reason, you gotta put this against the wall, you know, or furniture, and it's bound to fall off every single time. Now, there's a couple of things I wanna show you. So there is madness to the science. I'm gonna use the dirt, but again, I like the pink sand because it gives me a nice color contrast. Mind you, you're not gonna find pink sand in your house. Well, I assume you won't. Although I do like to go to a pink beach at one point, but this is where this vacuum is supposed to shine on bare floors, on ceramic, laminate, hardwood, any bare floor. The trick is this, I'm not going to use it on its maximum suction setting, which is actually the setting used for bare floors. I'm gonna keep it in the same suction setting as we use on low pile rugs. And I wanna make sure I'm on the right setting on the floor brush, all right? Quiet, by the way. One of the things about this vacuum you love is how quiet it is. So let's see how we do here. This is literally one pass, okay? Let's see how we do with edge to edge cleaning here. I mean, a half an inch away from the dirt and it's already picking up. Now, the reason why that's useful, especially around baseboards, corners, you don't have to keep hitting the vacuum against all your baseboards. Now let's see how it does under furniture. This is the magic right here. This neck is a twister neck. That means, actually, you know what? Let me show you this way. That means that this thing lays down on the flat, flat on the floor, and it's really nice and easy to move. Everywhere, just like that. That's perfect. Beautiful. All of this done with a low suction setting. I'm not even halfway up on the suction, and we managed to gather whatever pink sand you have at home or dirt. Look, vacuuming is a chore at the end of the day. But if your vacuum cleaner doesn't pick up dirt and you have to go over the same spot all over again, it just becomes a nightmare. It doesn't have to be like that. The reason why this vacuum does so well is because of its Vortex motor. It's a 1200 watt motor put in the most compact vacuum cleaner ever made. By Mila, that is. Not only that, it gives you four suction settings. Now, I told you about the rug setting, but you also have a setting for curtains. You also have a setting for rugs, as I mentioned. You have one for wall-to-wall uh, -wall carpets and one for maximum, uh, which is you know, your bare floors, your ceramic, your laminate, and all that. Um, and, and as you can see, you don't even need to go all the way up uh, to pick everything up off the floor, okay? So, so far, it's got great suction, and I promise you this vacuum will pick up whatever your old vacuum left on the floor. This will make vacuuming a joy for you. Uh, it's got great suction, it's quiet, it's 
light, easy to work with. Now let's move on to the other features the CX-1 Boost has to offer. Now bagless vacuums could be notorious when it comes to disposing of the dirt and also um, maintaining it. Well, let's see how what, what, what Mila engineers have done with this model. First of all, so it's easy as that to remove the, uh, the bin. Let's talk about filtration because we kind of have to. We are at a stage where we have to talk about filtration. There is a three-stage filtration system in this vacuum, in the CX-1 Boost. And it's similar to what they did with the CX-1 Blizzard. You see, when the airflow goes through this bin, it reaches the speed of over 100 kilometers an hour. That's a centrifuge force created, which separates the big dust from the fine dust. Where that matters is when I push to empty the dirt out, I don't have a cloud of dust coming back into my face. Talking about pushing the dirt out or disposing of the dirt, there's a button here and that's all I have to do. Again, no dust comes back into your face, but where does the fine dust go? Right here. Mila's got two filters and the back of the bin, and by the way, this is all washable. And when you purchase this from us, we send you a video that shows you how to take this apart and clean and wash and maintain and all that. But there is two filters here. There is just a regular dust filter you can tap out. And there's a washable filter that goes with this vacuum as well. So far, we've covered two of the three stage filtrations the dust bin itself with all the big coarse dirt and dust. Uh, uh, we have the second filtration right here, which that's how you put it on. And how about the third? Well, the third filtration, by the way, can I just say what a pleasure it is to take this out and put it back in. It's like it guides itself. Good. I can literally close my eyes and do this. What? One try. Seriously, that's ridiculously good. It's such, it, it, you'll, you'll love that. Mind you, there is something I'm gonna come back to this, but hold on. The third filtration is right here. Now the CX-1 Boost Graphite gets what Mila calls a hygiene filter. This is a replaceable filter. You would change this every 12 to 18 months. The next two models would get a HEPA filter instead of a hygiene, a little bit of filtration. But the point is this, the biggest issue of backless vacuums, which is disposing of the dirt has been so thoughtfully mitigated by Mila engineers that what you're left with is just big stuff and it should be easy to clean those up too, by the way. Let's give this a shot. Now, because there's so much dirt I have here, <laughs> there's no way we can do this, but I'm going to try it with its highest suction setting. Again, this is a little too much, but let's see. Oh. This is beautiful. Now all Amila CX-1 Boost models come with the same exact accessories. These are the same accessories that have been standard with all Amila vacuum cleaners for the longest time ever. You get a dusting brush, a crevice tool, and an upholstery tool, a caddy to go with it. And the way you're supposed to um, mount this onto the hose gonna sit like that onto the hose just like this there's a oh there we go it's great for storage but I don't necessarily love it as I vacuum this could get in the way so I'll probably just leave this in the closet starting with how everything connects together even from the hose all the connections everything that connects to another piece locks into another piece this is what you could do with the vacuum if you wanted to. Not that you need to or should. Next, how the hose connects to the handle. Again, another locking device. It's actually hard to pull it off. 
the way the handle connects into the wand. The fact that they haven't cheap, <laughs> used a cheap material. This is a stainless steel telescopic wand. The way the floor head locks into the wand. This is great. The way there is a parking spot right here that when you pause vacuum, you don't have to lean this against the wall. The fact that you can take the dustbin out of its place and put it back in without even looking at it. The fact that it's got the on and off and the court rewind button on top where you could use your feet without having to bend over. The fact that it's got a long cord, quiet, powerful, all of that translates into how thoughtful the design is regardless of whether you think it's a beautiful vacuum cleaner or not. One of the most annoying things ever is having to vacuum the same spot over and over again just to see the dirt sitting there staring at you. Or maybe you have to vacuum and use a broom right after. Anyways, the CX-1 Boost has a very powerful 1200 watt vortex motor. And not only has a very powerful motor, it has a suction control. Well, all that power has to be managed somehow. So they've given you a rotary dial with four predetermined suction settings, one for curtains, one for area rugs, one for wall-to-wall -wall carpets, and one for bare floors. But you could literally leave that knob anywhere in the middle of these suction settings. So you have really infinite control as to how much suction you get out of it. Now, scientifically, I would have a suction gauge to show you how powerful this is, and I don't. So I'm going to have to get creative. Let's see how we could do this. This is right now the lowest. This is the highest. Okay. That's good. Dirt. Dirt. Sand. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. If you recall at the beginning of the video, we asked if your vacuum cleaner is loud and it, if it sounds like a jet engine when you turn it on. We wanted to measure how loud the CX-1 Boost is. So I have downloaded an app called Decibel X. It's a free app. And I just wanted to measure real quick. This is not scientific at all, but I just wanted to measure at its highest suction setting, loudest setting, uh, how does it do? Just under 85. Um, that's not loud, is it? Another complaint we hear um, uh, from people and their vacuum cleaners is how the vacuum doesn't uh, do the stairs well. Whether it doesn't sit on the stairs and they have to use their knees to hold the vacuum on the step or it just wobbles around and or it's not reaching anywhere. Let's see how the CX-1 Boost does on stairs. Now we happen to have a set of stairs right here. We are on a second floor. Follow me. One of um, the complaints that people have with their vacuum cleaners is how it's so difficult to get the stairs done with them, especially when you're talking about uprights or stick vacuums, or if it's a canister, you know, how it doesn't sit on the stair. Now, this vacuum is designed, and because of the track drive that we spoke about earlier, there is no lateral movement. So if I had to put this on a stair, now this is, granted, this is a commercial stair, so it's not as, wide or long as a residential one. But this vacuum can sit securely on a stair with no lateral movement. But I, let's say, I refuse to put this on a step. How far can I go from the main floor upstairs? Well, if I left the vacuum here on the main floor, I would be able to carry one, two, three, four, five, Extend the wand, six, seven, twist the wand, eight, nine, and just about 10 steps 
before I hit the landing and that's typical in a home isn't it between eight to ten steps to have a landing at this stage I would probably have to unplug the vacuum and then take it to the landing so I would be able to do a full staircase with removing and or lifting the vacuum and replacing it on the landing once now I'm at the landing there's probably a plug somewhere upstairs and in this case I have five steps uh, when you're looking at this model and specifically if it's a townhouse with three stories and a lot of stairs this vacuum is going to do just fine I have to say, this was fun and all, but an impressive fact is I'm still plugged in to the plug that we had down at the bottom of the staircase. I, have, I didn't have to unplug or anything, and I'm on the second floor of a commercial building already. Commercial buildings have high ceilings, so this is a proper size staircase or proper height staircase. This is impressive, I have to say. Now, hopefully by this time, you have a very good understanding of all the... Uh, benefits and features, the differences between the models and whether the model you're looking at is the right model for you. They are fantastic machines. They are beautiful. They come with amazing warranties. Mila's warranties are the best in the business. You get five year free warranty on all components, seven years on the motor. Just like any other Mila appliance, these machines are made to last 20 years. Now is the good part. We give you as much value as we possibly can. First of all, we ship all these vacuums free of charge to all Canadian provinces, but whoopity do everybody does that. The first thing you're going to receive is a video from us after you purchase that shows you how to assemble, maintain, and operate the machine. We're also the warranty and the service center and have been so for Mila for over 20 years. We offer free video call troubleshooting. We have a 30 day full satisfaction guarantee. If whatever reason you don't like your vacuum, you have 30 days to return it. 90 day price match guarantee. And we also offer air miles and financing and all that good stuff too. If I missed anything, if you have any questions, 1-877-220-5656 is our toll free number, vacuumwarehouse.ca, information right here. Buy this. You will absolutely love it. And not only you're going to use it as a vacuum cleaner, it's a gorgeous decoration piece too.